Welcome to Shoal Fishing. My name is Shelby, and in this video, I will be fluke fishing Shinnecock Inlet, and I will make my way down to the beach side. And all at the end of this video, if you're interested, there is a video of a man of war that I came across. In this portion of the video, I will be fishing a Spro Bucktail, I believe it's half ounce, tipped with a Berkeley Gulp. Um, I later move on with an Otter Tail and Berkeley Go. Alright, you're going to see that I wasn't too ready with my net. Um, I end up pulling this fluke right over the rocks, and that's usually a rookie move, and you lose your fluke doing that, so I don't recommend it. Rookie move number two. Always have a rag or something to hold the fish with. This was not intentional. Okay, in this part of the video, I actually just changed the weight of my bucktail. Um, I believe I went a little heavier, as the current is probably picking up a little bit. so I ended up not having any more gulp left, just the bodies. And in place of the tails, I decided I could put an otter tail on. Alright, I'm going to partially cut out some of the audio. The reason is because there's a ton of interference between my shirt and the GoPro. Um, and I really don't feel like putting you through all that.
Okay, this is the last fluke I caught on the inlet side before heading over to the beach. Alright, I'm actually using that uh, gulp and otter tail combo again here. Um, the reason is because these gulps just kept tearing off. And this one was actually an old one that I was a little worried might just fall off during the cast, so I put an otter tail on just in case. Okay, if you're wondering why I'm lifting up my rod like that, it's because I'm trying to get my lure above the ground and also into the sight of some fluke that may be a little distant from where it's located. This one ended up hitting right on the shoal of the uh, beach. So, generally when a fluke hits, it'll shake a lot. So my in initial reaction was, this is definitely a fluke. Okay, thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I will probably have tons of video from the fall run as it progresses, and stay tuned to see the Manowar if you are interested. <laughs>